Well, 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 okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's a bad habit, to be honest with you. It's a bad habit. <laughs> it's not that deep. It's for the uh, secret eyes on the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. So we have some saffron coffee. What is, is this elixir? Saffr Ooh. Saffron cowboy coffee. Nesquik? Correct. Strawberry milk? You know, we're going <laughs> to see. <laughs> it looks like some like real delicious like it, strawberry. I'm ready to down this, honestly. Yeah, I really want to try it. Yeah. Okay. Tell us about it. Hi. You want me to tell you about How it? Who are you? What's your name? Hi, guys. Hannah Saeed. Hello, Hannah. Keep it. Where are you from? Um, my dad is from Iraq and my mom is from Tennessee. So that's wow. part of where the branding came from. It's like saffron is. Was your dad like, are you the only 10 I see? Yes, <laughs> yes, exactly. And my Howdy. mom's like, back that Howdy. ass up, you know, to my dad. <laughs> yeah. Um, and yeah, so saffron, you know, homage to the Middle East and cowboy homage to the South. So I wanted. Um, my being biracial to be in, infused in my company. Mm -hmm. um, I've done, I've worked in corporate America for like the last decade, but I had gotten COVID about two years ago. Yeah, yeah. And I was so bored. I was like, you know, the minute that I get better, I have this nice espresso machine. I want to see every single person that I love like immediately in my yard. So this started um, two years ago as like an elevated lemonade stand, but a coffee shop in my yard mm -hmm. um, here in LA. Okay. And then it just started growing. Um, barbers were like, yo, could I do hair in your yard? Tattoo artists were like, yo, could we do tattoos? And then things kind of shifted when I threw this huge block party. There was about 300, 400 people that came. Whoa. And so my friends were like, yo, you should take this ser this company seriously. Yeah. Like you can do community organizing, but also do coffee as like a, a marriage between them. But I was addicted to money in corporate America. You, yeah. you make good money. Let's go. <laughs> you know? Flus. Flus. Right? Yes. I wanted a G-Wagon and yeah, whatever. Yeah. I want a G-Wagon too. Right? Yeah. Wait, you so. want two G-Wagons. <laughs> I want three G-Wagons. Four for each wife. Exactly. 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 Seven exactly. for each day. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Wait, if you have four for each wife, then you won't have one. Five. One for each wife. And yeah, and then I, you know, our diversity and inclusion work, you know, was cool for a little bit in corporate America, and then it was uncool, right? Mm -hmm. And so my entire department got laid off. I was like, what am I going to do for work, yada, yada. A bunch of friends who are entrepreneurs were like, yo, you should take your coffee company seriously. And I was like, yeah. So I got into this Women of Color Entrepreneur Program. It's an accelerator business program at Cal State LA. Um, it's free for women of color. I really want all women of color, especially Middle Eastern women, North African women, to like be plugged in because I was the only Middle Eastern person, right? It's yeah. predominantly black and Latinx, which is amazing. So what um, do they do? They help you accelerate how? They give you a financial advisor. I got a paid intern. Um, things oh, wow. around taxes, how to get your EIN number, like yeah. literally everything that you need <clears throat> to know how to ru run a business. Um, and so that changed the game. I have my own roaster now. He's Latino and Palestinian. Um, we roast every Wednesday, so I have my like own roast line of with beans. jokes. Or <laughs> he just talks <laughs> mad shit all day. Beans, you like, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> you too. You're yeah. fat. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Just start roasting the beans like, man, you're from Brazil. Yeah, Brazil, no, Argentina, yes, yeah. no. Yeah. Exactly. This is the meme. It's like light roast, medium roast, and dark, <laughs> dark roast is like... Dark humor. That's when you start making fun of the mom. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you yeah. can't do that. No, not we're not. Of course. No, halal, don't worry. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, now this is what I do full time, which is such a blessing. Um, we do a bunch of catering events. We have a residency at a bookstore in Highland Park. So we've been doing this cowboy series. We have Rhonda Gerard. A, a really radical Palestinian author and professor speaking this tomorrow. Nice. Um, and so a lot of what's happening is we want to mobilize people politically, but through the lens of coffee. So, you know, back in the day, people would talk shit about the government over coffee. Mm -hmm. So yeah. how do we kind of mobilize people? We're going to start this process where you can pick up posters and flyers from wherever we are. So we're going to partner with the b different businesses West Side, downtown LA, and we're in Northeast LA right nice. now. Um, so there's something called, like, I believe it's the People's Forum or Public Forum in New York where you can go ahead and do that and get your posters and stuff for protests. But there's nothing really like that in LA. Okay. So imagine you pair that with coffee, and then people that are like minded can connect over coffee and actually Amazing. get to know each so, other. Yeah. Um, so it's been really cool. It's been it's been so cool. We've been growing. I have a bunch of employees now. 
Um, and so we're going to talk about these. This is the cardamom um, latte with espresso. Ooh. And then this is a rose oat milk tea. A lot of the stuff I do is I want to pay homage to our culture. I didn't bring a jalab and lime juice. Oh, um, whoa. <laughs> yeah, so I do jalab lime. Wow, that's a combination. Yeah, and so it's it's really fun to take our cultural syrups and our cultural drinks and like infuse them with new stuff, right? Or I have a grenadine orange blossom tea drink Whoa, that, that I just good. made up. Um, so it's been really fun to be able to have people that aren't Middle Eastern interact with my brand. Um, I love people that, you know, focus on just Middle Eastern representation. They want to give just to Middle Eastern people. That's awesome. But my whole thing is I want to bring people that have no idea about our culture the and Swifties. interact with our culture. You want to bring them in. Kind of, yeah, yeah. The because they're the ones that. that have capital and they're the ones that a lot of time have power. They do. So they for do. me to get a lot of corporate gigs, it's been these random people that are not Middle Eastern that are like, I really liked your stuff. I really want your representation in our company. Nice. And that is what I think, quote unquote, allyship actually yeah. is. Like, yo, help me get 1, the G-Wagon. Give me the money. Yeah. Give me the money. People ma really ma love our... Sorry, go no, ahead. I was going to ask to try it. But the, oh, okay. I was just going to say before that, people yeah. like really love our culture when it comes right. to like the foods and the drinks. Yeah. And like, you know, but tell them, them if they love money. the culture... They should also stand with Palestine. It's a, it's a dual Correct. effect, one thousand percent. That's exactly one hundred percent. You can't take the good, the good and no, uh, of course you know, they want a sheikh shack show with us, bad. but they don't want a free free Palestine with us. It's right. a, yeah. Yeah. Right. Remind them. Say that say that one more time. <laughs> they don't want a sheikh shack. It was they sheikh shack show with us, right. but they don't want a free free Palestine with mm. us. I was going to do a video about this, but I was just lazy. I'll well, here we go. Like this, like is the, like this is the intro. There it is. Um, yeah. uh, fun fact: Do you know where coffee was invented? Yeah, it was in Ethiopia. It was founded. The guy saw his goats, and they were just eating these 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 this flower, the plant with mm. coffees. And he's like, "Why are my goats going nuts?" And then like he decided to try it out, and then it be Ethiopia, and then then it went to Yemen. Yeah, I thought Yemen. No, it went to I Yemen. Mean. So Ethiopia is where it started. Then it went to Yemen. That's why you see the classic uh, way of how, how, no, look it up. <laughs> fact check me, fact check me. Yeah. Then it went to Jamie. Yemen, and it went to Saudi, Saudi, Saudi. And that's why you see yeah. like the classic like out of be way of making coffee. Then when it went to the Europe area, then that's when it got uh, whitewashed. And it got you know, worse. Like mm. Drip coffee, Americano, espresso. all this stuff. <laughs> no, I like espresso. Yeah, same. Wrong. The Starbucks. I it I stuck with it. Yeah. Let's try it. The up. order Can is like we, yeah. 17 yeah. things long. It's not even coffee anymore. I had, like, it's disgusting. Can we try this now, though? Yes. Okay, so first do the rose oat milk okay. tea. I'm like do salivating. That first. It's been here, open. Here, I'm like licking it. I'm like, please. Take this one. This middle that wild. And then get this one. We can share. Oh, my God. That's so nice. It's refreshing, yeah. Very refreshing, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a rose what? Rose oat milk tea. Rose oat milk tea. Wow. Yeah. It's like it's like an elixir. It's very um, wow. Just like smooth. Delicious. Huh? So Seriously. we usually put dried rose petals on top. And so you just make it like fun. I want people this reminds wow. me of childhood, it's right? Absolutely like delicious. It's delicious. Can I say something about my childhood? I yeah. never <laughs> liked rose water. Same. We don't but care I love this. About your right. childhood trauma. We don't. <laughs> leave it for therapy. We are not your therapist. Yeah, leave it for therapy. <laughs> you know about my childhood. We don't <laughs> care. <laughs> Shut up. The worst thing about it. <laughs> no, it's true. Rose water was always one of those things when they put it in the too much in the knafis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's overwhelming. It but this is very much. good. This is very so. Smooth. It's like you drink this and just like. Will it? Will it? Start like <laughs> the Arab comes yeah. out. <laughs> 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 actually, I heard it once you. Like, yeah, you yeah. hear it. It's like like oh shit. How are you, Habib? So is this the? Are these the the only sizes or? No. You know, people oh buy them in bulk. So for okay. the holidays, people are like, yo, I want like a big old Later. thing. So it's been fun being able to like kind of create cartons or, you know, bigger yeah. events for people. Okay. The ultimate goal is, yeah, we can get good. this all over the place. Um, mm -hmm. I would straight up tell you to your face if this was not good, no. but this is actually <laughs> really good. Honestly, yeah. I'm stopping myself from like chugging no, this No, I'm right already now. halfway <laughs> done. It's been 10 seconds and the it's bottle's so halfway <laughs> gone. <laughs> shots, shots. Yeah. You know lying is haram, so I know I'm that you're lying. Lying. I know, No, it's I know, not lying. It's like literally like, I'm good. I would down it. Honestly, I would down it. So one of these. rose milk lattes. So something that's been really funny is because I blend like Southern culture into my brand. A lot of these drinks, I put Middle Eastern names to them. So well, Dolly Parton. <laughs> no, well, this is like Dolly Parton, right? Yeah, but Dolly I was like, Parton. how funny if I make it Dunya Parton. Oh. Dunya Parton. So like yeah. just making. Bar Barton. Yes, exactly. Dolly, I was going to say Barton. Dolly. Dunya Everything Barton. has to be kind of funny. <laughs> Working or like, nine to five. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. You know the exactly. song. Working nine or, to five. Have right. you heard the new Jolene remix? Uh, With who? Oh, yeah. It was yeah, a rapper. Yeah. yeah. No, She's I like, haven't. I should have shot Jolene dead. Jolene. Jolene. That was pretty intense. 
Yeah. You know what I mean? Okay. I'm so not, what other what other flavors do we have besides these two? The orange, but you're not listening. The orange bro? blossom. <laughs> is that it? What other flavor? Oh, sorry. It's, like that, it's, it's not good enough. enough. I was listening. I was we listening. mentioned all of them. We, what we, do you do actually? What is this <laughs> yeah, about? Yeah. So tell us about the co- <laughs> yeah. no, so uh, coffee. This so this what? one's the cardamom um, latte with okay. oat milk. So try that cardamom one too. Latte. Do we shake it? You would shake. Yeah, I would shake it just to make sure. Um, so this is with our Halima blend um, of beans. So again, we roast every Wednesday downtown LA. Um, and so mm. it's Halima, Leila, Selma, oh. and Jamila. And Ethiopian, Selma's Ethiopian, um, Halima's Nicaragua, you can Honduras. You definitely taste the, a little bit of the cardamom. No, yeah. Yeah. It's like, um, yeah. reminds me of, uh, I can, I, so I can taste like the yeah. original like way of making out of yes. the yes. in it. Yes. Yes. Like there's a hint of me taking the small cup and mm-hmm. drinking it, like a hint of mm-hmm. it. But then the oat milk, the America comes in, and Correct. like, you know, the democracy. It, yeah. Colon- yeah. it colonizes. It colonizes. It, does, it, did, it, it colonizes. It colonizes. Your taste buds. Taste buds. Yeah. And it creates a balance where it's like a white girl goes, like, mm, this is actually so good. Yeah. 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 Don't let them. This is good. I like this one more. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is good. Um, the 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 coffee's sharp, so if someone who doesn't like bitter taste of coffee probably won't like it. But I like bitter taste of coffee, so yeah. the question is, yeah. was it a problem bitter, to though. taste this yeah. first before having this? You probably sh- sh- we should have had them. this first. Yeah. Well, this first. a huge thing. This is our signature drink. Is to blend them. Oh, so shit. people oh, love that don't blend, mind if I fucking and do. that's right. the that's our main drink that we sell all the and time. What do you call that? Chalata. Cocktail juice. Yeah, cocktail juice. Cocktail juice. juice. I call it the panty drop. Where, where is Sean? Cocktail, sauce. cocktail hey, juice. They say cocktail yeah. sauce is really yeah. uh, mayonnaise right. and ketchup. To get. You know what you're doing, huh? You know exactly what you're doing. Holy <laughs> shit, woman. Oh my God, that's really good. Blend, 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 blend. <laughs> blend, blend. That's actually blend. so good. It's wow, really the blend is where it's at. Yeah, really? Yeah, wow. <laughs> I really oh, like. I do, the egg I do like this one by itself too. But no, I like that one a lot. But with together, together is the mm-hmm. fire. Forever, okay. it's I just, amazing. This one is so good too. I don't want to like. Yeah, no, it's actually really one. good. Okay, <laughs> um, this does definitely have that like cardamom. Like it tastes like the turkey ahwe. Correct. Yeah, reminds me of my grandfather. What's the bit. backstory of like the imagery and the and all that? Is it just something that I just spoken? wanted something silly. I want like my brand. At first, I wanted to call it Silly Girl Coffee, and all my friends were like, "Silly That's, Girl, do not." It <laughs> sounds that. like Silly Girl. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. and they were like, "Women are not silly. Yeah. We're <laughs> blah blah." So they're like, "Pay homage to your family." So I really like the two names yeah, were Saffron is... Cowboy and then Arab Rodeo. Amazing. And so the tagline is, you know, our name is Saffron Cowboy. Welcome to the Arab Rodeo. Ooh. Um, wow. Arab now Arab I want to start an Arab Rodeo. Yeah. Right? Oh. It's and like all the cam- cam- camels. camels, right? Yeah. Like, what? <laughs> it's just like, it'll be very fun. <laughs> well, one fun thing is there's this thing called Stud Country where people do line dancing, right? On Tuesdays mm. and Thursdays. It's this huge oh. thing in L.A. I was like, yo, oh. how cool would it be to do Debka classes mm. or things like that where people interact with our culture, but in this like line dancey kind of spin off, right? right? Because the whole brand is Southern and Arab. Cowboys. Um, so that's going to come down probably the pipeline of like programmatic that. stuff Sign that we do. Sign me up for that. I'll be there. I think it'll be funny 1, and fun. Percent. Um, I'm silly. And silly. And silly. Yeah, I think like I was telling silly you earlier. <laughs> yeah. Silly depth oh my god, I'm so silly. The depth kit. Like, like wow. cowboy hats doing the depth kit. That's like, what I'm saying. That'd be fire. Infusion. Yeah. It reminds Infusion. me of like uh, like Yemeni coffee. Like so Yemeni uh, coffee. Feels like going to Kahwa House. Kahwa House. Yeah. I was just about to say yeah. it has that like. No, it's spiced very well. This is definitely I like it. Yeah. A white person did not I really make this, love it. So. <laughs> Uh, only half white person. Only, <laughs> only half, exactly. half white. Exactly. That's how you know. You just exactly. have to have a little bit of seasoning. At least totally. a little bit of seasoning. <laughs> what do you yeah. say to, to those who say, like, mixing in, uh, like, our traditional foods with new flavors? I don't feel this way about these at all, because to me, I taste the tradition more than anything. Yeah. But it does have, like, that acceptable, like, taste that anyone can get behind. Mm. When I say acceptable, I mean, like, really good, but, like, just anyone can like it. But what do you think of, like, when people do, like, show, like hummus that's, you know, not actual traditional hummus, like, mix it with different flavors? Some people... You're talking about chocolate hummus? hummus? <laughs> Method. That's, 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 that's different. That's, 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 that's haram. haram. That's haram. Literally. Pretty not as hennam for you. No. Yeah. They issued a fatu it. Yeah, they did. Fatu. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I don't know. What uh, you, I mean, you're doing it. You're doing the mix of it. Yeah. But you, you have a respect to the past. I feel like when totally. you do, like, you, know, you see all these out of restaurants or so called out of restaurants, they right. do these different types of foods and combinations of American out of culture. If you don't acknowledge the past of it and respect what the foundation of it is, 
then I feel like it's not allowed. But you're doing such a good I job see. of of balancing both. Mm, mm. Thank you. I really mm. appreciate so that. So I I think it's a hundred percent allowable. Okay. okay. Hundred percent. If you like, if you're saying I'm gonna make like this um, this like rose strawberry hummus, and but the hummus tastes like shit, then right. I'm like, right. Focus on the foundation first. Make yeah. The, okay. But this, the coffee is delicious, and you're doing yeah. both well. Yeah. Thank you. I agree yeah. with that. I, that's a great assessment. Yeah. yeah I yeah. think there's something. I'm like deeply proud of where my family right. comes from, right. and. I think also being biracial, I have a lot of privilege, right? Mm -hmm. And I am very serious around being able to let people have a platform outside right. of me. I'm mm -hmm. not here to like empower you, right? Yeah. But I'm like here to be like, you could jump in the pool too and try to make your company and right. make it visible. All of my employees are Middle Eastern from Lebanon to Saudi Arabia to Morocco Amazing. to Armenia. And that's really important to me. Yeah. And a lot of what I'm trying to move into is I don't want to be known as Saffron Cowboy anymore. I want my team, like we all are mm. a part of this like group mm. pushing yeah. it. Yeah. Yes, I founded it, I own it. Right. But like I want to see my beans at like Super King, right? Yeah. Ultimately, yeah, put it in Target and Whole Foods, this, but this I want sound, international this looks, market. This yeah. looks like Erewhon. Yeah. Like, this needs to be Erewhon. That's what, that's what I was gonna <laughs> say. I can see a white girl be like, what's saffron cowboy? Yeah, oh my yeah, god. Yeah. It has, no, it'll, it has it'll cardamom. Hit. But that's yeah. the thing. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. can be there, but I want it to be where we frequent. And yeah. we frequent. Arabs are not I was going to They don't go there. <laughs> yeah. $10 well, for we go sure. We go to Super King, you know? <laughs> $10. Avocado 20. Yeah, what? <laughs> I was, was going to say the privilege is that you will, you, you could pitch it and you could get into Air One and Whole Foods and then be like, surprise, I'm also Arab, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Like use you got you privilege. use your white privilege to get in the door and then you like, by the way. But again, you're not yeah. there's Arabs don't frequent Air One, except for Nasa. I frequent it. Air, you know, Air I, One, I, I but actually, I'm Lebanese. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I like going to Air One. I honestly don't mind it. <laughs> Food is actually good, yeah. but yeah. Uh, it's expensive. Yeah. Um only the zesty Arabs go there. Yeah. <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm he's calling, he's calling himself. He's Lebanese, yeah, but what are you yeah, saying? That's what I'm exactly. saying. We have a whole segment about years <laughs> of Lebanese children are born and they go, he is zesty, good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they, dunk, they dunk me one more time. Not, not zesty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not zesty enough. Yeah. <laughs> Fall to one more yeah. time. Yeah. Yeah. No, but I, I I will say like you're honestly just in, in in our interaction so far like I feel like this question wasn't fitted for you. I just wanted to throw that no, no. out there because your like your approach to your business, your company, like the conversations that we've had, you're very much like you putting everything but yourself first. Like it's almost built into your identity. I can feel Thank from you. like the con how you empowered us on our call mm. and like wanted to hear more about us and even engaged here and just being with us and um, yeah, I was telling him earlier, like, being an entrepreneur is the most embarrassing thing you can do. Yeah. Like, Wait, I'm always why? just, like, because you're jumping in the pool being like, this idea that I have, is it really going to be cool? Or is it going to fail? Or is it, people are not going to yeah. come? Or it, It's a the very humbling, syndrome, right? yeah, but it's, it's definitely I think syndrome. you have to have a good sense of humor being an entrepreneur, because I'm like, I literally have no idea. Yeah. Like, are people going to like this? Are you going to talk shit about this? I have no idea, but I'm kind of down but you, to right, see. Right. You just got to believe in yourself. That's yeah. It. You, and know, I think you don't, that's don't wait what's don't fun. for anyone else to tell you that this is good. You got to be like, nah, I know this shit's fucking good. Correct. Yeah. Are we allowed Correct. to swear on this? I'm not yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> It has to start with you. It literally has to start with you. It's totally. not embarrassing. It's. Yeah. It, I think it's more of like a beautiful sign of how much you believe in yourself and the confidence that you have in yourself. So don't look at it as embarrassing. I feel like it has a negative connotation. Look at it as a way like, being an entrepreneur is a, a big sign that I believe in myself. Yeah. I'm taking a I think a it's risk more like you have to be able to be able to laugh at, at a lot yourself, of at, at yourself. Your product because yeah, 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 like there are things that I've done that I'm like, oh my God, yeah. like nobody bought this. Well, That's but am yeah. I gonna stop? Right. No. Right. Absolutely. Right. Failure not. is when you quit. Yeah. Failure is when you quit. <laughs> yeah. 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 True. Bro, are, are you Tony Robbins? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm Tony Rahban. <laughs> <laughs> Tony Rahban. He'll give you uh, Tony, motivation. Tony, He's, uh, <laughs> Tony <laughs> There's like so many Tonys from Lebanon. Yeah. Uh, Antoine. It's, it's not Tony, it's Antoine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Antoine. Lebanon, <laughs> Antoine. For From Ashrafi. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, no, but no. 100% what you're saying is, is, is very accurate. Like you have to put your, when you put, even as a musician, right, it's kind of similar. You put yourself out there and, and you have to realize you're not the products you're selling. So if something you do doesn't go well, it's like that's not you being a failure or you being laughed at. That's Correct. just this product or this song or this video or whatever that you made. Correct. Maybe so. Yeah, there has to be a level of like detachment, healthy detachment. Yeah, that's where the humor comes. And in. that's the yeah. last thing that I'll say is, especially being a Middle Eastern woman yeah. and a queer Middle Eastern woman, 
I was not raised to be an entrepreneur, right? Mm. We were raised to be doctors, lawyers, teachers. Or so, failures. Yeah. <laughs> or, no, no, yeah. for real. Yeah, disappointments. Yeah, and so, yeah. like, hopefully you'll speak about it, too, doing about comedy. About me being disappointment? No. <laughs> <laughs> we, we already know. Yeah. You're being the exception to the rule. <laughs> you know, and so I think there's something really cool. Like, there was a woman that came up to me to uh, at an event, and she saw my Halima bags, and she's like, oh, I had bought, and my name's Layla, one of your bags is Layla. I had bought a bag of beans um, for my mom, and her mom passed away. So mm-hmm. the Halima beans, it's a woman in a hijab with, like, a cowboy hat. Yeah. Oh, and fire. she said her mom started yeah. crying because it reminded her of her her mom that passed away. Um, and she just was, like, hugging the bag of beans. And I was like, wow, like, being able to represent in such a fun, different way, I didn't expect to have such a, like, big impact, especially on Middle Eastern women. Right. And that has been really what kind of keeps me going of like, oh, wow, like people, representation matters, represent, like, right? Okay. Yeah. But it really, like, well, that was, that no, was really, really yeah. cool. Shit does matter. It really does. Yeah. Yeah. And <laughs> being able to go in this lane, but then also occupy like community organizing yeah. skill sets of mine, that b- bridging that has been what has been so satisfying. So. I'm really yeah. appreciative. Yeah. Yeah. I appreciate you. Well, yeah. keep, keep going. Keep being keep the Lulu. Going. And, and <laughs> I need to know where I can keep on swinging. I need to know where I could buy this. I know. I need to know. Okay, Please. I'll have to. I need to know. Well, it's online on SaffronCowboy.com. Yeah. Um, we can get, you can go to the. You do where like, is it ship? Do this. Is it ship or no? It ships. It all ships. Over. You yeah. go to. You, but she goes to events and st- you can st- get these at. She's like, gonna be at the Twin East. No. Yes. No, maybe not, so. Not this time. Well, next not time. This time. Then. Yeah, okay. yeah. Sorry, I didn't. Between know. West. <laughs> Between the West. Between the West. Yes. Yes. Well, I appreciate you guys. Thank you. Thank you so much. Wow, this is incredible. Mashallah. All the best to you. This is amazing. Thank you. Okay, good. This is actually so good. I'm like, oh, no. honestly, it's fantastic. Awesome. Inshallah, even greater heights, and we'll see this everywhere we can possibly see this. It's really good. 